Today's paper is RFCN, Object Detection via Region-Based Fully Convolutional Networks. The paper proposes a region-based, fully convolutional network for accurate and efficient object detection. The method uses position-sensitive score map to solve two issues. First is the translation and variance issue in image classification, and second is the translation variance issue in object detection. The proposed method achieves mean average precision score of 83.6% on Pascal VOC 2007 dataset. And during inference, the speed of the model is also really fast. It achieves a speed of 170 milliseconds per image, which is about 2.5 to 20 times faster than the previous RCNN-based models. Before getting into the details of RFCN, let's first briefly review the idea of faster RCNN. This is shown better in the left figure. An image is fed into the network, and it first makes ROI proposals. These proposals can be seen as box candidates enclosing the objects in an image. Once these proposals are generated, each box proposal is used to pull a region in the feature map. The pulled feature map is then fed into layers of fully connected layers, and in the output of the layer, it predicts the class and regressed box coordinate of an object. Now, on the right is the figure showing the idea of RFCN. Given an image as an input, it first goes through the feature extraction layer. Now that we have extracted feature map, like in the faster RCNN model, a convolutional layer is applied to create ROI proposals. In previous architectures like faster RCNN, each ROI proposals are used to pull a feature region in the feature map and uses the pulled feature to distinguish which class it belongs to. However, in RFCN, another convolutional layer is used to generate a map called post positive sensitive score map. This map acts as a scoring map that divides ROI into k by k bins, where each bin is now used to vote which class an object belongs to. So instead of looking at the feature as a whole, think of it as dividing the feature into k by k region. Explaining further using the right figure, um, there's a baby in the picture, and we have ROI proposal colored in yellow box. In previous method, a um, feature in this region was taken as a whole and was fed into the fully connected layers. However, in this figure, we can see that the feature region is divided by 3x3 three three window. Now, each patch is used to score how likely it is to contain an object in a certain class, in this case, a baby. Um, for example, if ROI region is well aligned, all region will produce high class probability of a baby. On the other hand, if ROI region is misaligned on the, like it's shown in the bottom figure, a majority of the regions will produce low probability. The output dimension of the score map is therefore k raised to 2 times c plus 1. K is the size of a bin that divides a ROI region, and C is the number of class. It has plus one because it also has to predict the background. If the value of K is set to three, the dimension of the score map will then be three times three times um, C plus one. Now, here we have the pseudocode that shows the difference between um, RCNN-based method and the proposed RFCN method. Extracting the ROI proposal is the same in both methods. Um, however, we see that the burden in RCNN-based method is in the application of fully connected layer in each ROI proposal. This is time consuming because another network inference should be held multiple times for a number of proposed ROI boxes. Um, on the other hand, um, RFCN only generates newly proposed score map only once, so we see that the generation of score map is outside the for loop. An ROI region is used only to vote the regions in the score map. Uh, no network inference is made in 
the for loop now. And for this reason, um, the overall process of the network is much faster than the RCNN-based models. Now, this table shows the comparison of RFCN method with other RCNN-based models. Um, the RFCN method uses ResNet 101 backbone throughout all experiments. Um, on Pascal VOC 2007 dataset, we see that the multi-scale RFCN model achieves 83.6%, while faster RCNN model achieves um, 76.4%. The faster RCNN plus model achieves higher average precision score by using an iterative box refinement method, but the speed of the network, as we can see here, is really slow. It takes about 3.36 um, uh, seconds to process a single image. Um, on the other hand, the speed of the RFCN is 0.17, that's about um, 170 milliseconds per image, which is a lot faster than the RCNN-based methods. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.